Evolution theory suggests that all living things have a common ancestor and have changed over time. This change occurs in a process known as natural selection. Natural selection is based on competition among members of a species to adapt to their environment and the transfer of genes from those with a higher chance of surviving and reproducing to the next generation. This process can lead to one species becoming different from others over time and new species emerging. According to the theory of evolution, living things are evolving and gaining unique characteristics. These characteristics are formed by genetic variations and mutations. These changes accumulate over time and can eventually lead to the emergence of new species. This theory was developed by Charles Darwin in the 19th century. Darwin showed that the different species on the Galapagos Islands had similar characteristics, indicating they had a common ancestor. He also discovered that natural selection was an important factor in the change of species. Today, the theory of evolution is accepted by many scientists and forms the basis of biological research. There are misconceptions about the theory of evolution. 1. Evolution theory does not propose the idea that a single species of organism evolved from other species. Instead, it believes that species evolved from a common ancestor. 2. Evolution theory does not argue that organisms evolved towards a particular goal during the process of evolution. Instead, it says that organisms have certain characteristics that enable them to survive by adapting to their environment. 3. Evolution theory does not say that organisms only change through natural selection during the process of evolution. Random genetic changes such as mutations also play an important role in the evolution process. For evolution theory does not say that organisms progress at a particular speed during the process of evolution. Instead, the rate of evolution can vary depending on environmental factors and other variables. 5. Evolution theory does not say that organisms encounter entirely random changes during the process of evolution. Instead, it says that organisms have certain genetic characteristics that facilitate or hinder their ability to adapt to their environment.